Hello, my name is Jim Merritt of Quick Trainer Incorporated. I am a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor and today I want to show you how you can go about adding a remittance section uh, to an invoice template within QuickBooks. Um, to begin with, I'm going to make the assumption that you know the basics of customizing a template. And um, so you begin by choosing the template that you want to customize. In this case, it's called Custom Remittance Invoice. And then we'll click on Customize, and then Customize Data Layout. And immediately I want to go to the Layout Designer section because everything I want to do, I can do from this section right here. Let's begin by adding a dash line that would be the tear off line or the cut line. Now you may have special paper that is already perforated and that's fine if you do. Perhaps you would just have uh, that dash line hit on the perforated area. Um, so right click and then click add text box and I actually don't want to put anything in the text box. I want to go to the border and remove the bottom right and left sides of the border so that we only have a top border. I'll make it two points in height and I want it to be dashed. And then I'm going to drag it down to the proper section. I will not go about making this entire remittance section um, um, aesthetically pleasing, um, but anyway, there's the dash line. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to take this invoice and uh, label and the invoice where the number actually appears and I want to copy it. I'm down to the remittance section. So I choose the label, I hold down the um, shift key, and then I choose the actual data field. Then I right click and I choose copy. Next, without touching anything, I left click and drag this down to this area. Okay, so now on this invoice, the invoice number would appear both here and here. Of course, the customer will be uh, cutting this off, and you'll get this part back, and it'll immediately it'll reference the invoice number. Um, perhaps you want to add the balance and the payments and credits and the totals. Um, you can pick and choose which of these you wish to add. Um, all I'm going to do is left click and hold down the, uh, the mouse key and draw a rectangle around the date I want to copy and release. Then I'll right click in this area and choose copy. And I'll just drag this data down to here as well. Now, you may want a box that says um, something like, um, please, remit, you know, please submit this remittance with your payment. So let's add another text box. Please submit this remittance with your prompt payment. Okay and we'll take away any border that would surround that text box by just removing these and then we'll move this down to the appropriate section maybe drag it so that it's just one line All right. the other thing you would probably want to include in this would be um, the actual customer field um, which would be in this area here so I will click it right click and do copy and drag it down oops sorry drag it down to this section. Let's move this back up where it belongs. Um, and now you would have the, the this invoice information as well. Now I'm not going to be, again, I'm not going to be about making this pretty. I think you get the idea. You can copy these field, this field information um, easily down to this area and duplicate it. Um, once I click OK and then I click OK again now I'll give you a preview of what this would look like just so you get an idea. Um, yes, we'll save this. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this very well in the video, but um, hopefully you get the gist of uh, everything I'm trying to say. That's it. Um, if you want to learn more about Quick Trainer uh, and the services that we offer, please visit our website www.quicktrainer.biz. Make it a great day.